What's going on guys? Still in headphone season here over at Affordable Tech Reviews. Another pair of Utaxo headphones. These are again noise canceling headphones. These are the BH003s. So I was really impressed with the BH001s. These are the threes and first thing is I like this case a lot more. It is a little larger, yes, but it is slimmer. And I like it being slimmer because it can go down into my bag a lot easier when I'm going day to day or traveling, doing anything like that. Because these have become my day to day headphones. Spoiler. So again, the case still kind of got that same material. It's not, it's hard around the sides, very soft and plush. Got a nice durable zip on it. Open this thing up and boom, look at those. Those do not look like affordable headphones. Those look like out of my price range headphones, if I'm being honest with you. So down in the side here, again, we've got one of these very open pockets in this case, just the last one. I wish it was a little tighter back there so things wouldn't slide out. Instructions. We've got our audio cable charging. I these things look so nice that they look like they should be using USB-C to charge. We're still back on micro USB. I won't hold it against them. And we also have an airport adapter. I've never ever had to use any such thing. Again, I've only flown out of the continental United States once but this might be nice to have on future trips if I, I've got kids, if I can ever afford to go anywhere else. Got a nice stretchy Velcro strap to hold them in place. And then here they are, the Utaxo BH003s and all of their glory. Again, they look awesome. I do obviously love the red because it is my favorite color. They've got the 90 degree rotating cuffs. They do not fold up at the top, which I prefer more, because again, these can be laid flat and take up less room in my bag. This super durable, these metal pieces on the side, it just looks so damn good. We've got the Utaxo, the little U, inside of each ear cuff. Now these, got that, uh, that awesome looking red inside there, these are stupid soft. I mean ridiculously, ridiculously soft. And they feel wonderful on my head. <laughs> we also have a little Utaxo logo right up here that blends in pretty well. It's a little like, dark gray on lighter gray. Both sides. It's a very soft up here. Nice thick padding. Left ear cuff. We've got our USB-C charge. Right ear cuff we've got our audio input got our power button. We'll also play pause when you're listening to music. I believe it also answers calls. I don't talk on the phone, so I didn't necessarily test that. We've got our up and down buttons fought for your volume. And unlike the BH001s, this is not as flush. So you can definitely tell if you're on each one, even though it is one piece, they are raised up a little bit there. On the back side here, we've got our active noise canceling. And it is harder to see in this one because you just have this little green light in here that is inlaid inside the button. Where the other one, the button kind of lit up blue when it was on. Again, you want to make sure that is turned off when these are in use. So just like the BH001s that I already reviewed, the 003s have that rapid charge functionality. Five minutes of charge will get you two hours of playback. Total of 30 hours playback, so they do have the same battery in them. But it does have dual microphones now, so you're going to get better call quality because it's going to block out some of that outside noise. These do have much softer ear cuffs, and I've actually got a pair of skull candies over here that are more than these. These are what I normally edit my videos with, and these are softer. So there's a big upgrade in quality between the two headphones. Um, material wise, these aren't necessarily, I think the other ones might have been all plastic and I apologize if they have maybe a little bit of metal in them. These have 
metal hooks all the way down and to the headband, which is very nice and feels way more durable. These things are ridiculously comfortable. These are the most comfortable headphones I have, and I love it. And they block out a lot of outside noise, more so than any other headphones that I have. And then when you actually hit that switch, I can't even hear the vent that's blowing right now. And with the 001s, when I made the review, the vent was on and I could still hear it. Right now, I literally cannot hear anything but myself, which is fantastic. So the active noise canceling is a big upgrade from the BH001s. Again, those were $60. These are 89. So you do have a $30 price jump for that upgrade. Material wise, definitely an upgrade as well. Comfort upgraded. But what about sound? Because they're headphones and you want them to sound great. Big, big upgrade in sound. Again, like I said at the beginning of this video, these have become my go-tos. These are now my everyday, and I'm probably going to end up editing all of my videos with these and just tossing the skull candies by the wayside. So again, I started listening to these with the new Knocked Loose album because I'm obsessed with it and they're phenomenal. I then moved on to some Zeo because I recently saw them. I've been listening to them for 20 years now. They're one of my favorite bands. So I wanted to get some heavy stuff in there. Listen to the new Witch Vomit, super heavy death metal. From there, I went on and listened to some J. Cole. I listened to Run the Jewels, some Beastie Boys, and the bass is phenomenal. Again, with these, just like the other Utaxos that I reviewed, when you pump up the volume to them, it doesn't get overly loud. All that happens, you get a more robust sound, more clarity, at a higher level. It's it's almost like going to a concert and having a nice pair of earplugs in that's just going to reduce the decibel level so you're not just having an onslaught coming at your face and ears. That's what it most reminds me of because in my old age at 33, 34, I am old. I can't even remember how freaking old I am. I do wear earplugs to shows now because I've got a little bit of hearing loss. These are fantastic. They make me sound like I'm at a concert at the level that I'm hearing. And I dig it. I can't praise that enough in the sound. The highs, the mids, the lows, everything sounds great. So, again, these get my absolute highest praise. Um, I, you know, the noise canceling is fantastic. It's not as good as the QC35s. I haven't checked out the new ones, the new Bose. Um, I don't know anybody that owns them, and I'm not going to drop $400 on them. And the new Sonys, I'd love to check out, but I haven't, and I don't know anybody that owns them. But for $89, and right now on Amazon, there's like a $10 off coupon or a 10% off coupon, something like that. I don't recall which. I just saw it pop up there yesterday. I definitely, definitely recommend that. I will put a link to these and the other Utaxo headphones that I just reviewed in the description below. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend these if they're in your budget. I do not think you'll be disappointed. I, don't, I got nothing. That's the end of the video. Um, like it, share it, subscribe it if you haven't already. I would very much appreciate that. If you didn't like this video, dislike it. That's cool too. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.